For those of you who do not know me, my name is Miss Crenshaw, and I don't like to be called out of my name. I very rarely give anybody a reason to do so. So I feel the need to defend myself and what was said about me after asking numerous times for this person to stop bringing me into their conversation, which I should have had nothing to do with. Um, a lot of people are already aware. Some people, or a lot of people also will not be aware that Tay Zonday has been um, under a lot of pressure lately. Not really by me, because I only spoke to the lady two times, but pressure in general because she's made a lot of claims. Now, I had no intention of going into her live chat at all. The only reason why I did is because my name was mentioned by her while she's live. So I went into her chat to defend myself and I, I think the first chat, um, first message I asked her was why she was bringing me up. And then she said, I'm not going to uh, bully her, slander her, and all kinds of accusations. So I say, I don't slander. I'm not ashamed of anything that I have said because it has all been the truth. I was very polite to you initially. I did my homework. You were mistaken. I said that in the most respectful way that I could because when you know somebody has lied, I wasn't really trying to call her out for all of her lies. I don't know the people that were here. They weren't associates of mine. Um, so I'm, I didn't even expect anyone to agree with me or, or know anything about my character. I was very pleasantly surprised when a few people did take up for me. Um, this person said, I don't think Miss Crenshaw it was Miss Crenshaw flagging you. Oh, because she made that claim as well. She said myself and other YouTubers or other YouTubers that I've associated with, and we we must have flagged her her down. I don't know what she's referring to. I suppose that she's saying her Facebook account was um, she's not allowed to get into it because it was it was taken down. She never gave a reason, but I had absolutely nothing to do with that. Nobody that I know on YouTube or I even really associate with because I don't know anyone on YouTube that is making uh, videos personally. No one has worried about doing anything to this lady. That's all in her head basically. So let's go on. Now mind you look at the time okay. So I get off of work. I hadn't been off of work that long. Um, the first like time I joined in the chat, it was like right around eight, you know, eight, eight oh five, maybe. Um, this is one of the first messages I sent. It says eight ten. So then, this one must have been right um, before that. But the chat's delayed. So when you see two screens, it's because one of them is, uh, I don't know, five minutes after the other. So I tell her that I've said new files haven't been updated and that is correct because she went on to say that I said that she was a liar and that I'm the one that was lying about her well I can prove that I was telling the truth she was mistaken is the nicest way I could put it she's called me a thug for telling her that she was incorrect and I told her I'm not a thug I only raised my voice when I spoke to her that once because she talks over people. Anyone that has heard her speak on a panel knows that. I didn't call her out of her name. I didn't use profanity. I, I just raised my voice at one point in time so she wouldn't continue to speak over me. Now, mind you, some other people are um, speaking up for me, which was surprising and I appreciate all of the people that, that did and, and really didn't have to. Um, 
Chasing Truth says, Crenshaw is a professional lady with a career. She wasn't being a thug or anything. That is not cool, Tay. Um, if we go down here, she accused me of um, not doing anything for the case. She's been, you know, she researches for the case. What do I even know is what she told me. She clearly doesn't visit my channel because I've been making videos and researching every part of this case since what, the 11th of September when it became a national news story. So I say to her, once again, as respectful as I could be, I have done just as much or more as you to help bring justice. You should have looked at my channel before making that statement. After she realizes that she's wrong, she starts to backpedal. She starts to say, you know, actually I am, you know, Miss Crenshaw, you're very, um, you know, intelligent and you, you do good research. And since you do good research, why don't you research these documents I'm going to be showing? Because I don't want to be your, your enemy and I don't want to have anything against you. And, and, you know, look at Oprah, you could be like Oprah and look at, she's going to do this. And I just said, what does Oprah have anything to do with this? I just don't want you to talk about me. That's all I wanted. We don't have to be best friends. I told her we are not enemies. I have things to do. I will, when you're done with your live, I'll go back and look at it and see what documents you're talking about. That should have been the end of the conversation as far as me having to get into the live was concerned. Mind you, I'm remaining respectful the entire time. Now, now it's nine o'clock and I'm noticing my name over and over coming up in the chat section of her video. I wasn't even there. So I guess she started talking about me again. This um, controller says, you, you were just being nice to Crenshaw. Now you're talking crazy. Uh, Huggy, <laughs> of course, had something to say. Um, <laughs> and um, someone else that I, a personal fitness trainer was, you know, I just see my name all over the place, right? So then I go in to the chat again and I say, hold up, was my name mentioned again? Like, I thought that we were past this. Why now, an hour later, are you talking about me again? And someone says, and whoever this is, I, um, Missy Love, I appreciate you because this isn't a person that's even, um, she wasn't there for me. And she says, how, how dare you speak that way about Miss Crenshaw? She was nothing but respectful to you on G's panel, more respectful than I would have been. How is asking for facts disrespectful? Thank you. Thank you. That's a very logical statement in question that wasn't answered. So, okay, 9.15, let's go on. Now, she ignores me when I'm asking her why she's talking about me. And I ask her at this point, I said, Tay, did you mention me again? I thought that we addressed the issue. I don't know what her problem is at this point. I also don't know who Kimberly is that I've highlighted on the top of her screen. I just thought that that was um, odd, the Kimberly's right there. But anyways, not my business or concern anyways. She denies talking about me. So then other people go on. She definitely did talk super spicy as soon as Miss Crenshaw left the chat. Game playing, okay? Waiting until I'm not around, talking about about me when I come in and ask her why she's talking about me. She backpedals, says she doesn't have anything against me. She doesn't know what these people are talking about. And she's probably figuring, and she's right, it's an eight hour live at the end of it, who has time to go back and listen to every word? Well, I had enough time to take the screenshots. So, somebody else. You were just talking about G and Crenshaw and you lied to both of them. So, it's just a game of, 
if I don't know what at this point, but I started to get very irritated with it because it started off, okay, and it's now 921 and I'm being lied to. I don't have time for her games. I'm not trying to argue with her. I have not disrespected her even one time as of yet, but she continues to call me a goon, a bully, and a thug. Even though you could clearly see I was none of those things to her on her platform. And I wasn't those things to her when I spoke to her in the past either. So I would not have made this video about her and I would not have even went into her chat if she would have left me alone like I asked her to. She was so happy to have somebody to talk about. It wasn't only me that she spoke about, believe me. She, I don't know. She talked about everybody in detail and disrespected everybody and made all kinds of accusations and, and claims that were bogus and easily debunkable. But she is the one harassing and bullying me at this point, having the nerve to call me the bully. Well, this is where she messed up. Because instead of calling me a bully and a thug, she should have been calling me Nancy Drew because I'm on my detective shit. And this is what I did. I recorded a little clip of a video and I want to play it. Exactly. I'm not central intelligence. And, you know, I've done investigative work in the criminal world. So, but that's all behind me now. Oh, finally get to retire. I'm 10 minutes from the border wise choice to ignore my question. I don't know. She's reading that question. I'm in Vancouver. Oh, you're in Vancouver. And so I got on Siri. Notice the time. I took a screenshot, which we'll bring up in a moment. Now, the reason why that is so significant is because she has been claiming to be in Canada the entire time. She has claimed that she is a CIA agent, and when she was called out for that, she claimed that she was uh, retired and you know, she's Canadian, even though she says CIA, she really means the Canadian version of it. And I never cared about her credentials. That wasn't important to me. And I told her that the first time I spoke to her. But other people were concerned about her credentials because she made it a point to speak about them all the time, to put herself in a place of uh, superiority when somebody asked her a question, she would say, like, you know, I can't discuss this or that because, you know, I, I, I'm CIA. So I am only bringing that up because she brought me into this over and over and over again. So I'm in California. I could easily verify that. And I would have no reason to lie about it. So that's where I am. And when I asked Siri what time it was in Vancouver, they said 10.37 p.m., which is the exact same time zone, oddly enough, as I'm in, which is a Pacific time. Now, the reason why that's significant is because we'll get into that. <laughs> um, I want to show you her screen right here. She moved her screen because at one point in time, you could see in the corner the, you know, like the toolbar of her computer. So she, she strategically and purposefully moved it when she realized what was um, being shown. And she continued to 
bring my name into the conversation. It is now 11.01 and I was fed up with having to deal with this lady. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. I've asked you nicely. So I said, why are you still talking about me? She tried to once again backtrack. Oh, no, I was just, you know, saying that, um, you know, I, I just was, um, let, you know, letting people know. Actually, you you look like you go to the to the spa. Do you go to the spa? You tried to totally change the subject. You could go back and listen to the live for whoever doesn't, um, or whoever's going to question me. You have the times right here to make it easier for you because it's a very long call. So I, I said, that's right. Clear that up. Because she was backtracking and trying to say she wasn't speaking about me, even though everyone in the chat knew that she was. And I said, and keep my name all the way out of your mouth. I am tired of having to come back here. Mind you, there goes my boy Huggy again, saying, it's 1 a.m. Central. Who knows what time you're in? Why are you discussing me? Because she just got done calling him John Frank. I can't see it that clearly in that picture, but she literally called him John Frank. And people were having to tell her that he is not John Frank. Um, it's ridiculous. It's a completely different YouTuber. They both show their faces while they are on their channel. They have totally, there's nothing even similar about the two people. But she's just talking about people for the sake of having an audience and to talk about people. I was fed up. I was tired of having to stop what I was doing to come back and address this grown woman who's supposed to be, I don't know, um, almost twice my age. Who knows what time? Or she is trying to, <laughs> is trying to give us, or, or what game she's trying to play, or how old she really is. I mean, she's crazy, clearly. So, this is why I brought you all here to this video. When she moved her screen, she didn't want you to see this, but I had a screenshot of it. The bottom of her, um, you know, just like every other computer when you're sharing your screen, it's going to have the date and the time and it says U.S., which was pretty much where I thought she was. And it says that it was midnight. That's interesting, isn't it? Because we have already established that she couldn't possibly be in Vancouver like she said she was. I played the clip. She said it out of her own mouth more than once. She's in Vancouver. Impossible. Impossible impossible when I took this particular screenshot I circled at the very top the time for me on my iPad 902 Pacific time as we've already discussed her time is Eastern time not only is she lying about people myself and many many others and about being a CIA agent and what have you um, she's lying about being in Canada I can't go so far to say if she's even a Canadian or if she's ever lived in Canada but I could tell you this much she wasn't in Vancouver nor do I think that she has anything to do with Canada I think it's just a way for her to it's it's another um, excuse that she could use as to why you know she doesn't um, understand this or understand that because you know it's it's different in Canada so 
there's so much more I could have exposed, but I'm pretty sure I did my job defending myself, why I was even there. A lot of people were in and out of that live, and I don't know what people heard because I didn't hear everything she said about me. So I hope that this puts some... Um, realness for the people that were confused as to what was really going on because when I talk about somebody I'm going to come with the receipts that's all for now please don't make me keep making videos